hi and welcome to my channel so in december of 2022 the uk made a huge announcement and change announcing basically that they're going to be recruiting more teachers from overseas to come work in the uk from february of 2023 this announcement was basically quite a few African countries added to the list from where, you know, UK companies can actually offer visa sponsorship for teachers to move to the UK. So in this video, as you know, I like to think out of the box. I like to think of challenges before they ever get here. So if you're watching this and you're a teacher or you are thinking of using this pathway to move to the UK, I'm going to be saying who can actually apply for this visa? Yes, who are they actually looking for? And most importantly, the government has recently made an update, you know, to this particular pathway saying exactly what the skills, you know, what the schools, the skills, obviously, that the schools should be looking out for. What this means is that if you're planning to use this particular pathway, what should you be preparing? How should you be preparing? What should you be considering as more important? Because look, the idea of teaching in a country, say in Africa, for example, is not quite the same thing as teaching here in the UK. And if you're a teacher in another country and you haven't been to the UK, you have no understanding of that. You'll probably be thinking of teaching traditionally as it is in your own home country so in this video i'm going to give you that information what are they going to be looking out for that the government has actually specified you know and who can apply so if you're new to my channel you're welcome here if you're a returning subscriber you know i appreciate the time you take and i do hope that you're really and truly implementing all of these ideas and sharing with your friends sharing with your network sharing with your colleagues and sharing with your loved ones so that everybody can benefit from this information. In fact, as many people as possible can benefit from this information. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you do want to hit subscribe right now. Turn on that notification button because look, you want to be the first to be notified every single time when I drop a new video on here. And let's get started. So who are the people that can move to the UK to teach? Look, it is not only qualified teachers. The government has said that they're looking for teachers as well as education support, which means that if you're a qualified teacher, there is a pathway to prove your competency that you are a qualified teacher. But if you are involved in education, but you're not a qualified teacher, you can still be recruited and given the same visa to come to the UK through this pathway. And this is something that you should take note of. And by the way, before I forget, I'm going to be doing a live session at the end of this month, you know, on Zoom, where I'm going to be talking about career progression in the UK. Why is career progression important? Why should you be interested? If you're already in the UK right now, what else is there? If you're still out of the UK, why should you be considering moving to this beautiful country? And what are the advantages of actually focusing on career progression? while you're here so if you check the comment section below you're going to see a link to my newsletter if you join that newsletter literally it's just your name and your email it's not even going to take you up to 30 seconds to put in that information but as soon as you do i'm going to send you you know a, an email with the zoom link to join that live session but most importantly you also get to be part of my newsletter where i send you information about updates career progression opportunities in the uk side business opportunities as well as visa sponsorship opportunities in the UK if you're still out of the country. So these are three major reasons why you 100% want to join our newsletter. And if you've clicked on this video, then look, it is for you. It is 100% for you. And I do have a private coaching program where I support with career progression in the UK. Because if it's your first time here, my name is Melvis. I currently work as an advanced nurse practitioner for the NHS. I also have a private coaching service where I support with career progression in the UK. So if you're thinking you're a nurse, you're a career or student nurse, you know, you're thinking of moving to the UK, you want to know the best pathway for your personal circumstances, then obviously that's something that I can support you with. Because look, there is a lot of information right now on social media, just like this video that I'm doing, but does this apply to you? How does this even apply to you? How can you tailor this to support your personal circumstances? I think that is really the big challenge that many people are facing. It is not the lack of information but it is what is relevant to me what can i take out of this information and use and that's what i support you with so again if you are interested you 100 want to check out my private coaching program and join 
so that I can support you through that journey. But like we were saying, the UK is not only recruiting qualified teachers, so they're also recruiting educational support team. So this can also be like teaching assistants. If you're a teaching assistant, you're not a qualified teacher, which means that the rules that apply for recruiting qualified teachers will not necessarily apply to you. So I want you to be really smart if you're considering this pathway to move to the UK. What are your personal circumstances? What is the evidence that you can use to support your application as an educational support assistant or teacher or whatever it is that you are? If you're already a qualified teacher, obviously, I'm going to be telling you as well, you know, some of those pathways that you need. But like I said, if you're keen on that information, just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be able to, you know, do a whole video explaining the requirements that they want you to show that you are a qualified teacher if it's something you're keen on. But for the purpose of this video, like I said, I'm going to be focusing on four major aspects that the government has highlighted saying, look, recruiting teachers to work in the UK is not just about the subject matter, which means if you're teaching, you know, maths, for example, it's not only about teaching the children about, you know, three plus two or, you know, three times four or whatever. There is more to being a teacher in a country like the UK than just that. And so the government has highlighted those four points that they want the schools and organizations recruiting teachers from overseas to really focus on during the recruitment process. And look, if you want to come through this pathway, this is the information that you need. If you are enjoying this content, I want you to hit that like button. It just lets me know that you're enjoying the content and I should do more like this. It's really helpful because it gives me guidance. It gives me insight. It gives me tips on the sort of content that you truly and utterly enjoy. So the first thing that the government has identified is recruit candidates who have, you know, who offer that pastoral care who are able to offer pastoral care, what does this mean? This means that when you've got children, for example, it doesn't matter the age of the children, which the government has also said, you know, they can recruit teachers and education assistants to work in any sector across any age, which means even if it's a nursery where children are like one year old or zero, yes, you can also be recruited from overseas to work in that sector. So it doesn't have to be like a secondary school or a high school. So the first point that like we've said is you're able to offer pastoral Care. What is pastoral care? Maybe start thinking of Melvis. You know, I'm a teacher. What are you going on about pastoral care? Look, pastoral care is offering that social, emotional, and spiritual support for the kids. Because when children go to school, it's not just about teaching them your subject. You need to, to you, you need to be able to understand those children. You need to be able to look out of the box. You know, if a child's got something going on, you know, with their social life or with their emotional well-being or safeguarding or their spiritual well-being, as a teacher teaching any subject, you need to have the skills to be able to support that child with all of that. And that's what the government has said. Look, we want you to focus on the people that have these skills when it comes to offering pastoral care for the kids. That's the first thing that I've said. So, and then the second thing is, look, appreciation of the ethos of the organization every school has its motto every organization or institution has their overall like look at it like the vision and the mission that they have that particular teacher that you want to recruit have they got the ethos of your organization have they got the values of your organization do they understand the values that you're trying to promote within your organization. This is something that is so powerful. And if you're applying for these teaching jobs, that is what they're going to be looking out for. That is what the government has specified, that these candidates that are being recruited, those organizations will focus on these four things. And so the second one that we've said is that appreciation of the school's ethos, the values of the school. You know, if you've got any questions, I want you to leave them in the comment section and then I'll join you on there for us to talk about that, for you also to discuss that. Again, if you haven't um, subscribed to the channel, this is the perfect time to hit subscribe right now. Turn on that notification button because you do 100% want to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here. Also, if you haven't joined that newsletter, in order to get the link to attend that Zoom session and have access to getting, you know, direct information from me about career progression opportunities in the UK, side business ventures, as well as visa sponsorship opportunities, then you 100% want to check the comment section below and 
look, it's not even going to take you 30 seconds. It's like name and email and that is it. And I'll do the rest. Just send the info. If you've got any question that is more private and you're like, mm, Melvis, I've got this question, but I don't want to put it here on YouTube because everyone can see. Also use that newsletter. You, you'll be able to see all my contacts on there. You'll also be able to see where you can ask a question. That question will come to me and I can reply to you then privately which is something that is very important as a nurse myself i work as a nurse practitioner i understand the importance of privacy when it comes to asking certain things um so social media is not always the most appropriate place to ask some type of questions so that's the second point that we said the third point is soft skills and communication skills look the government has said if you're recruiting anybody from overseas they need to have impeccable soft skills and also their communication skills have to be on sleek mm -hmm. this shouldn't come as a surprise again because when you're dealing with children for example or with kids or with toddlers or with babies communication is vital appropriate communication for the age of the child very important if you're a teacher and you're teaching 16 year olds the challenges that you're going to face the way you communicate with a 16 year old is not the same as if you were teaching a five-year-old again the way that you talk with a five-year-old is not the same that you would communicate with a one-year-old or a zero-year-old baby so again the government has highlighted and insisted that the organizations that are recruiting make sure that those candidates have these skills the soft skills and the communication skills so again you want to make sure that even while you're applying you are highlighting those skills within your cv within your application because you know during your interview are they able, i can't even stress enough how much you need to talk about these skills during your interview because those organizations are going to be looking out for the best candidate you don't want to miss out on opportunities that you rightfully deserve so again that was the second point which of these points you know do you think these are all points that you're already doing if you're a teacher right now are these things that you already offer anyway do you feel that it is too much on top of your you know the subject teaching that you're going to have because obviously if you're teaching i don't know maths like we said as an example you're going to have your maths lessons to prepare maths to teach as well as these other extra um expectations and almost let's say requirements that you need to have as a teacher because children have challenges all the times but you need to be able to support them thrive and thrive through those challenges so you need those skills yourself the fourth activity that they said is the willingness to participate in extracurricular activities so extracurricular activities look that's a big part you know when it comes to the uk and you know teaching and supporting you know kids and children extracurricular activities are just a massive massive part of that so how are you going to be able to demonstrate that during an interview or during your application but most importantly once you get the job and you're working how are you going to continue to just ensure that you're the best version of yourself you're supporting those kids and you're just you know helping them to become you know that holistic approach that holistic care that's what we're talking about here because you're not just focusing on oh i'm a math teacher i'm a history teacher i'm an english teacher you're looking at that child holistically look this child seems a little bit low what's going on with them this child seems so different this week what is happening that's what they want you know overall it's somebody who is going to be there to empathize with the children not only focusing on the subject matter like i'm saying that's something that they're particularly stressed on um so you want to make sure that you're getting yourself ready because this is going to be you know a huge opportunity because of the uk is short of teachers you know the uk is short of teachers and the thing is it is a challenging job as you can see offering this pastoral care you know to to, to, to children is just not easy and so you can very quickly and very easily find a look maybe it's not for you so if you're identifying yourself in these four um aspects that the government has you know specified on then yes, teaching is for you. But if you're sat there thinking, hmm, I don't want to be doing any of these, then you should be asking yourself, you know, is it really for you? You know, is it something that you should be doing? Is it a pathway that you should be getting into? Should you consider different options? 
You know, is there another option you can consider than the teaching? Is teaching the best option for you to consider for your personal circumstances? You know what I mean? Those are questions that you will need to ask yourself because, you know, you want to be fair on yourself and the kids as well. Teaching, I'm saying this because I know, you know, I've got many um, colleagues, many friends that are teachers. I have many nurse friends that left from teaching and did nursing, you know. So again, there are many challenges, like with any job, there's no job that comes, you know, 100% without any challenges. But you need to weigh up the challenges and say, look, are these challenges for me? Can I cope with these challenges? That is what you ought to be asking yourself. Those are the questions that you want to be exploring and that you want to be answering before you embark on this path. So again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe right now. Turn on the notification button because you 100% want to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here. Again, join my newsletter because I'll be sending you that information. You can attend the live session. But most importantly, consider joining my private coaching program where I can offer that personal life support, that individual life support to ensure that you excel, you thrive, and you succeed. Thank you. Keep watching the videos. Bye for now.